Hi guys, it's Dragon, and today is Easter, and a lot of people are doing Easter looks that are full of pastels and purples and blues and all kinds of stuff. And even though I love Easter, and I do understand what it stands for, um, other than eggs and rabbits and candy, um, I'm not doing an Easter thing today. I'm going to be different. I'm going to do something completely different. And I was looking through... My mom, like I said earlier, my mom for my birthday let me get some things from Avon. And I didn't get this, but I thought it was neat. And it's called a True Color Eyeshadow Quad. It's $8. It's really small colors. Anyway, I saw this. The one, the green ones on the bottom. And the first thing it made me think of was rotten lettuce. I know that's not exactly glamorous, but that's what it made me think of. It made me think of rotten lettuce. And I thought, that's an actually really good idea. So I'm going to take my icing makeup kit. I'm going to use the dark, dark, dark green, the very darkest color. And I'm going to take my Coastal Scents palette. And I'm going to make, or at least I'm going to try and copy the rotten lettuce look and use all greens. Um, also, I already concealed my face. I haven't put any eyeshadow primer on. I should have done that before I started filming. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to take my CoverGirl brush that I found at the store and I'm using my makeup and everything. And yeah, I'm just going to do some rotten lettuce today. Let me show you the two colors I'm going to be using for from my Coastal Scents palette. I hope you guys can see this. I'm using the green part up there, and I'm using this color up in the corner, and I'm using this green here, and I'm going to be using this one for highlight, as well as white on the insides of my eyes, because it makes my eyes look brighter and stuff, it's just kind of a highlight color. Anyway, we're going to take light green, one of the light greens anyway, the first color I showed you. And we're going to put it on the inside of my lid. And again, my mirror is down here. So if I start going up and down, it's because I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Before I start putting eyeshadow on, stupid me, I'm going to prime my eyes with this good stuff. I'm going to dab some of my eyes. And again, my children are watching me, so. Wow. Blend it all out with my finger. And I've noticed that I'm not getting exactly as far in or as far out. So when you're priming your eyes, make sure you get all of the place you're going to be applying eyeshadow covered with primer. And again, I use mostly drugstore makeup, except for the Coastal Suns palette. And Yay. this is all May's Bright Eye Concealer and Base. So you can find this at Walmart. This is where I found it, at Walmart. Anybody can find this. Instead of having to buy some ridiculously expensive primer from some god-awfully unknown company somewhere in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, we're going to take that first green that I showed you and we're going to put it in the corners and I'm going to do both eyes today so that you can see like the transformation anyway let's commence and this kind of looks like a mint green I wish I had some green mascara it looked really cool with green mascara wouldn't it anyway after that's done the second green on my coastal palettes so the coastal scents palette that I showed you. We're going to take it, put some color, fill the brush up with the color, and tap some of that off, and put it on basically almost to the edge, but basically leaving that much off of your eyelid, because that will be the outside dark color. When you do this, you can use any type of brush strokes you want, brush strokes that you want, because some people go like this, some people do this. I've seen some people do it this way. 
any way that makes it work for you is the way that you want to do it so that it looks good on your face and that the colors show up because whatever is good for you makes you look good and that is why I try and do everything that is just neutral so that if you want to do something you can and let me remove these little uh, lip liner wow these lip liners I don't use them at all because they're the wrong colors and they're too dark but anyway so I'm going to show you where I'm at, the green I'm going to be using in my ice crystals palette thing this one hope you guys saw that it is just a dark green so any dark green will get you well will do I'm going to take again the short end fill up my brush put it on the outside and bring it up a little bit into your crease too. Now. Ooh. Fall out. Mm. Horrible. He says what they call it. Take my blending brush and I'm just lightly blending it. Mm. Just a little bit. Should be using the Coastal Sense palette blush there for a highlight. I'm going to go ahead, since that one is more of a, a darker green than I want for a highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It's still like a really, really light green. So it's kind of like a mint. It's kind of like a mint green, actually. And I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it like right here. Wow. I'm going to take my pretty white using the inside corner of my eyes. Okay, more on eyes here. My lovely professional mascara. All in one mascara from Le Cabagal. I'm going to put some of that on there. This is a more dramatic look, so whatever you want to go for when it comes to putting your eye mascara and your eyeliner on, you can do it as much as you want or as little as you want. Anyway. Usually if you, if you mess up on mascara like I did there, if you remove it real quick as fast as possible with the edge of a Q-tip that's either dipped in water or sometimes nail polish works better, it gets rid of it fast and you won't be able to tell, from a distance anyway, that somebody screwed up on their eyeliner or their mascara. I'm going to take my pencil crayon. The more you do this, the better at it you will become. So you'll be able to do things one-handedly or without the use of a mirror or something. Since this is a dramatic look, I'm not sure if I want to use something that's dark or not. Or real rosy. Maybe I'll just use that one. Whoa. And I still can't find the lid for this poor thing. It's just when kids get a hold of your makeup, which I'm pretty sure every mom out there that hopefully watches me understands. I'm going to put this on. And this is a lipstick. You're going to want to blot a lot. At least in my opinion. I have a light complexion, so putting on really, really dark lipstick looks really, really weird and makes me look like a gothic person or something. But anyway, that is the look. I hope you guys can see it. I hope you guys like it. And like I said, this one reminds me of Rotten Lettuce. I hope you guys subscribe. Thumb me. If I need it, it helps me out. And I will see you later. Bye.